time to maximize affiliate revenue with Pinterest. So that's picking a niche, promoting the right products, creating the pins themselves, adding the affiliate links, all of it. And really when you think about it, is Pinterest really only for women? No, of course not. How else would I find out how to chop down a tree with a chainsaw near a house? Or where else would I get my man cave ideas to get my juices flowing? I am here to break down any gender stereotype. If traffic and money are to be made, I will talk about it and I will figure it out. No matter how long it takes, I will make it work tastefully. So why Pinterest? Well, like Google, it's a search engine. So people are looking for a ton of products and reviews. And instead of ranking on Google, you're just sitting there with a pin month after month, getting traffic and making affiliate commissions. And Pinterest results also show up in Google a lot too. So it's a win-win. So now if you're interested in learning how we're building profitable online businesses in 2024, also make sure to click the link in the description below and I'll give you access to exactly how we're doing that. So all the resources you need to get started right now. All right, so let's quickly cover what we're looking at here. We can do any search on Pinterest best travel bags and we see a bunch of pins here so things like travel purses different articles you click the link to the article and there's going to be affiliate links in that article or like food processors best food processors same exact thing would i buy it click the link affiliate links or best backpacking backpack right backpacking for your next trip going the whole hog.com click on that affiliate links in that article anything right fishing kayak random stuff worst kayak brands to avoid factors when choosing so People using the word best are signifying buyer intent and they're looking for things that they wanna buy. And they're using Pinterest to kind of look for different ideas and use your pins and a blog post as the way to find those. Pinterest also announced that you can add affiliate links right into the pins themselves with product tagging. So don't add the link, like if you're creating a pin, don't add the link right where it says link, but you can hit tag product and then you can add an affiliate link right in there so that the affiliate link is right in the product itself. So an example of that I put in is like women's dresses and you can see in this pin like there's actual little links here and if I click on one of them it takes me to this page which shows me the actual links directly the affiliate links directly to shop that item. So there's two ways you have a pin you either send them to a blog post with affiliate links or you product tag directly into the the pin itself. Now it sounds a lot easier and simpler, right? There's less friction when you're just adding the link right in here. It's a lot easier to do. You just create a pin, drop affiliate links in, and it can be part of your strategy. But I do think that in the long term, the blogging strategy is the best way to do it. Because sometimes when you're looking for a lot of these opportunities, it can be a little bit tougher because you're going up against like Amazon, Stitch Fix, Old Navy, right? So you have to really find long tail keywords here. So what are we actually gonna pin here to make affiliate revenue? Well, one tool you can use here is Ahrefs, which is really interesting. And I'm looking at this because it's pinterest.com. And this is showing me all the keywords that Pinterest ranks for on Google. So for example, if I go to like boys haircuts 2023, last year, uh, Pinterest is the top two results. Now it's interesting, it goes directly to pins. So this one says, you know, you can't go there because it might lead to spam. So interesting, but this one here, 55 best haircuts, goes right to an actual article. So this is probably bringing, bringing in a ton of traffic to this article, direct, kind of through Google, but with Pinterest. So it's going pin, Google to Pinterest to a website. And that's a really interesting way to look at it. So the key here is to find new and emerging products to talk about, things that aren't too competitive and crazy, right? So women's dresses, there might be like hundreds of thousands of pins, I don't know. There's a lot of pins, right? But we can find things that are less competitive. Now, if I drop the difficulty down to like three, this is showing me things that are easy to rank for on Google, that Pinterest is ranking for a number one position. So things like nail designs, mid taper mullet, Taylor Swift wallpaper. Again, the boys haircuts example. So this is actually a good way to do it because you can both possibly rank blog content and also understand the types of content that is new and emerging on Pinterest because it's not competitive yet because it's new, right? This Blocksburg house ideas, it's a type of design I think, I'm not totally sure, but a year from now, it's not gonna be a zero difficulty. It's gonna be probably more like 20 or 30. So. Once I drop that difficulty down, you can find easy things that can rank on Google and potential Pinterest ideas. With this tool, you can also add keywords in. So I made it what Pinterest is ranking number one or two for on Google, difficulty under three, and it contains the word living room. So things like modern boho living room, two color combination for living room, luxury living room, dark brown couch living room ideas, art deco living room. So if you're an interior designer, tons and tons we have about 12,000 keywords here for potential pins and blog posts so in this video we're primarily covering affiliate marketing right because i was an affiliate manager at a tech company turned into a seven-figure affiliate blogger and to understand affiliate marketing we really have to understand well which types of people buy through affiliate links 
it's based on the search. It's actually based on the actual search itself. So it depends on the transactional search intent. So if they're already searching for the best women's dresses, then they're probably gonna be more likely to buy through an affiliate link. If they're searching how to build a shed, they're probably not gonna buy through an affiliate link, right? So informational broad topics do not make much affiliate revenue. The ones that make more affiliate revenue are based on specific products. So the money you make with affiliate marketing is gonna be dictated by the price of the product that you're promoting and the commission rate given to you by that brand. So for example, if you're promoting like juicers for the kitchen, it could be $500 for a Vitamix or something like that. If you're getting 10% for a commission from that brand, you're making $50 per sale. So we wanna you know, make money on things that actually will make us a lot of money, not just like, making a 5% commission on something that's 10 or 20 bucks, then we're just making pennies and it's not worth it. So in your niche, there's always higher priced products, whether it's fashion, whether it's indoor goods, outdoor goods, hobby things, software, there's all kinds of different opportunities out there. So when it comes to affiliate marketing, the main platforms that generate the most affiliate revenue in the world are going to be Google, YouTube, Pinterest. Probably, I might be missing something. But in general, people that are actively using search engines to search for products that they want. Best CRM software, for example, I have an article on my blog, and here's every single button here. These blue ones are affiliate links, and it's really simple content. It's like an introduction, and then what is the best with an H2 heading going to the different products. Text-based links are the ones. Buttons and text is what drives affiliate sales. People are used to clicking buttons to check out and buy things, right? Think about Amazon. You click on text-based blue looking links, things like this and buttons, and you go buy. And it's really simple, but you wanna have a content strategy first. Don't like just choose an affiliate program you wanna join and then make content around it. Really start with a keyword strategy first in your niche. So using tools, finding like, here's a hundred different pin ideas I can create in this niche. And then you can find affiliate programs for that. So you're gonna go after it that way. Now, if you already have a blog and maybe you're struggling to get organic traffic just from Google, you could start creating pins. So I recommend you create like 10 boards with at least 15 pins in them for a decently well-rounded profile. You can kind of categorize them like you would think of categorizing blog posts. They have Canva templates. So you can see like Pinterest pin templates. You can put in different keywords and just find a lot of nice looking templates, super easy to create, adding in your own photos. So really standing out, it's kind of like YouTube thumbnails, right? How do you get people's attention? and how do you get them to click? So a lot of that is standing out and colors, right? So if you search for something on Pinterest and it's all like these kind of light beigey pink colors, maybe you try something that's different that stands out more, black, red, something that's unique. And then after that, you really just wanna double down on what's working. So the main thing here is to just capture people's attention with the pin. There's a lot of psychology behind it, but it's really just like, don't add too much information, too many words. You wanna have a pretty much usually have a human being in it because think of all YouTube thumbnails, most pins, they have people on it, people will click on people um, and having a good background image. So really good fonts, things that stand out, just creating a simple you know, pin. And then when you, what you can do is look at your analytics, see which ones are getting clicks and then you can kind of double down on what's working. So maybe there's a clear formula. So test a bunch of different options and versions, figure out which one is best. And then you kind of double down on that one and create more that look just like that. And creating a pin is really easy. You just upload the photo, add a title, description. You can add some, you know, search intent words in there, choose a board for it, and then tag some topics. So no one will see the tags, but you can add tags related to the product. So I would do like, if it's around fishing kayaks, something random like that, you do fishing kayaks, best fishing kayaks, how to choose a fishing kayak and things related to the search. You're gonna wanna post a lot. So you're gonna wanna post a few pins every single day. So if you already have a hundred blog posts, pin all of them over time. If you don't have all the blog posts yet, then you know try to do some product tags. But you wanna mainly try to get after going like two to three pins every day because it's pretty easy. You like create an image template in Canva, right? Once you have that, all you're doing is using Canva or you can even use Photoshop if you're good at that to change the pin a little bit, make it look different, add the titles. It's a pretty quick process and something that actually is pretty good for outsourcing. So let's get in to exactly what to do. So I still recommend you create a blog. You can use something like WPX for that, which in my opinion is the best web hosting, super fast customer support. They get back to you with chat right away, but you wanna create a wordpress.org website. Everyone needs a website, right? A lot of these fancy uh, you know, Pinterest videos on YouTube are just telling you, make so much money. You just, all you have to do is click a few buttons and tag a few products and you're gonna make a ton of money. And that's just not the case, right? The truth is, if anyone can do the thing in about five minutes, then it's gonna be saturated, it's not gonna work. 
right? It's the lowest quali quality type of business you could ever try to create. So to have a real strategy behind it, I do recommend you check out other videos on my channel on like keyword research. I have deep tutorials on keyword research, how to write blog posts, on-page SEO, how to use AI tools, all of these different things to actually create a real personal brand around yourself. So creating real blog content with affiliate links in it that you're linking to these products from your pins. So that's the best long-term strategy is creating a blog first as the foundation, focusing on organic traffic, and then using Pinterest as a secondary traffic source, All right? So it takes a little bit longer, but it's a way to build a true business and diversify. So you start your website, you choose a domain name that's probably broad because we don't wanna pigeonhole ourselves into a tiny thing. So just choose your name or something like that. And then start your Pinterest strategy. So do the Pinterest keyword research, use different tools to find, you know, a hundred different potential keywords you could create pins around. Um, how to and informational things and then those transactional best types of products you can even maybe if you have 50 articles on your blog currently and like half are informational like how to and half are transactional about the best types of products you add all of those as pins and then you start doing product tagging as well right so you can do all of it and just have a simple strategy that's consistent and you want to figure out your niche on pinterest based on new and emerging keywords that's the key right we don't want to go after old stuff the best refrigerators and dishwashers and like things that have been around for 20 plus years online are going to be more saturated and harder to even get traffic on pinterest for so you want to spot trends and then jump on that trend. It's the same thing we teach in blogging and Google. You have to find that thing before other people do. So look at Amazon, look at what new products and categories are out there. That's where sometimes niche expertise comes in. The more that you know about the niche, the better, because you can get ahead of trends and actually create those pins and create blog posts on new and emerging things. Right? Maybe it's like the best AI image upscaling software, or it could be some new product, some new outdoor product that just got on the market. Right, so it's kind of becoming first is be, being early, an early adopter is really the way to find success. You ride that wave, get all the affiliate sales while you can because search volume things change and come and go, right? It's a seasonal thing. Men's haircuts, boys' haircuts of 2023 is gonna be replaced by different hairstyles, different trends, different things. Even products have you know come and go. Things like web hosting or podcast hosting software, things around that have kind of fizzled down a little bit compared to how they were four years ago. So you wanna have a broader approach. What I would also recommend you do is on your blog, when people hit, click your pin, click your blog post, you add exit intent pop-ups. So you could use a tool like ConvertBox to you know, add exit intent and build your email list. So you add lead magnets in, right? Either PDFs, checklists, something simple. But you start building an email list, which is actually going from the algorithm of Pinterest and Google into ownership, which is really important to run a business. And in the future, you can sell them a course, a product. we are just kind of building that email list for now in the background. And then you can outsource. Once you gain traction and you're making some affiliate sales, you can actually start outsourcing this. So maybe you hire somebody even on Fiverr. It's like a simple task to create pins for your business and, and link to stuff. So it's really nice like blogging plus Pinterest is something that you can outsource. You don't have to be on video or on a podcast or anything like that. But ultimately it's it's about using Pinterest as a strategy and building a true personal brand business over time because people want to make money. People want to do it easily. But the truth is the way to make real money has to stay consistent. You want to make $5,000 a month. Well, you want to make it more than once, right? You want to make it for years. You want to be able to do things like pay off retirement or, or put it into retirement, pay off student loans whatever it is, right? We want to build a consistent business. So we have to have multiple traffic sources, a real strategy with, you can check out my videos on like on page SEO, writing like how to write blog posts, how to use AI tools, all of that stuff. Deep, I have a two hour course on affiliate marketing. I don't want to get all into like the nuts and bolts of exact, <laughs> exactly. Cause affiliate marketing is a deep topic that isn't covered all that well on YouTube. So definitely like search my channel for that one. Cause there's like a two hour video on affiliate marketing, two hour video on blogging and all of that. So you have all the information for free. It's up to you to do it. So if you do want to learn how we're doing it today, how we're building profitable online businesses, make sure to click the link in the description uh, and top comment below, put your email in and we'll send you all the resources so you can get started. So I hope you liked the video. Let me know if you have any questions on Pinterest or just blogging, uh, making money online in general. Uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.